Hello everyone, welcome to Mind Creature. I am here to teach you about date and time and functions. Let's start with date and time. In the, to manage date and time in Python projects, ticks are used. So, what are ticks? Ticks are floating point numbers in units of seconds. So, let's uh, make one small pro uh, program about ticks. Let's import time. Then let's make a variable named ticks. Then uh, then let's print the value of ticks. Okay. So you can see over here there is a big number which has been printed. The, uh, this is this is like around like 150 crores. So what is this? These are the seconds which have been passed till January 1st of 1970. So this is the date of starting of that tick thing. It's around 1st January of 1970. The seconds have been started from this date and it's still going on. And now the seconds are like 150 crores. Let's uh, copy this seconds value and paste it over here then let's run it again now let's copy this number okay now you can see the difference it's like around 40 seconds of difference over here this number and this number because it's just been 40 seconds before i have printed this value okay but now this is just a seconds number which is not so useful right so let's make some modifications like let's print out the local time so let's say time dot local time put these in the parentheses now let's print this now you can see a big thing so many things are there like the year is there the month is there the day is there if you want some more uh, detailed things what is going on like uh, the TM year is the year then the MON is the month then this is the day then this is the hour this is the minute and so on so these are okay we got some values but these are also not so useful let's make it some more useful like let's format this thing so to format this there is one more method called ask time so let's use that ask time Okay, and put these things in the parentheses. Now you can see it's more formatted. It's saying that it's Monday, it's October 16th, and it's telling the time 4:52 and 33 seconds, and it's saying the year also 2017. So this is the perfect exact dates. It's better than the seconds. So let's say we want to print out a calendar. Okay, so to print out a calendar, let's import calendar first. Then make a variable called cal. And in that cal variable, let's make calendar dot month. Then in that, let's print 2017 and let's say 10th month the October month and let's print this thing out print cal so now you can see this October month calendar is over here okay so you can play with this and modify these things to make useful for your own project let's move on to functions okay so what are functions function is a block of organized reusable code which does a specific task so it's better to have an example so let's start with an example okay so every function is started with this keyboard def then we have to write the function name let's say hello fun so what is this hello fun hello fun is the uh, name of the uh, name of the method is function okay then let's print out something let's print out hello okay let's run this code 
Okay, now you can see there is nothing. There is no hello or thing. Why? Why? Because we just have defined the function. We didn't call the function. So let's call this function so that it can be executed. So to call a function, you just have to write the function name and this parenthesis. Inside this parenthesis, we have to put arguments. But at present, we are using uh, using a function which has no arguments in it. So let's run this. And you can see hello over here. So this is the method definition. This is the method declaration. And the, here we are calling the function. OK, let's get to some more advanced functions. Let's say we want to print the sum of a number. Okay, result. Then here we are going to take two arguments. Okay. So the previous one was without any arguments. So let's print A plus B. Okay. So the next step after definition is calling. Okay. Result. Now we have to pass two arguments over here because we have passed over two. Let's say five comma 10 and let's run this program you can see 15 over here 5 plus 10 15 so let's say if we add it we want to add something like 12 over here okay let's see what happens now you see there's an error it's saying it's saying that it takes only two arguments but given three see we have just put two arguments in the definition but when we are calling it we are using three arguments which is not right so the num we have to keep in mind the number of arguments also so this thing works f10 okay 15 now it's working let's talk about default arguments okay let's talk about uh, what are the uh, what is the use of this function the use of this function is reusability see if we want to make uh, make use of this addition function we can just write result then again let's say 25 comma 26 then again run this thing and you can see we have not written the function a plus b thing we are just using this things now this function is just one line so you're not getting what is it so uh, maybe the function can be of 10 lines and just uh, just we can call this 10 lines uh, by calling this so this is a reusability so uh, there is a concept called dry don't repeat yourself so we should not repeat things we should use functions okay so let's talk about default arguments now what is the default argument let's say we are keeping a is equals to 10 over here okay now result let's say 1 comma 2 so the result will be 3 right we'll have 10 oh see what happened non-default argument follows a default argument so first default value should always be like this and this should be like 10 now let's try now you can see the value is 3 over here it's placing 1 and taking 1 at a and 2 at b and it's uh, adding this both up and giving us 3 we know that if we take another value uh, value this is going to be an error because we there are only two arguments and we are giving 3 that's not right so yeah we're getting this argument what if if we are taking only one argument over here there are two arguments over here but we are passing one it should be an error right but no it's 11 over here why because we are using a default parameter over here b is equals to 10 if there is no value over here it will take it will count this 10 so let's say if we did like this we have not given any default variable to b then it's going to be it, it's going to show an error see so what's the use of this default variable for example let's uh, talk about an id let's say there's an id over here then there's a name over here 
then we are taking the college name college name can be same like we can say iit that's a default value of a college name so let's print id then print the rest of stuff like name then print college name so in the result we can take the id for example like 101 then the name as aj then comma and let's take an value of bit is the college name so if we print this you'll get three values the id the name and the college name but the college name is default if we don't take this vit over here and we are taking only two arguments then the default value will come on play and we will see iit over here let's run this uh, again and you will see iit over here so this is the use of uh, default arguments so let's now talk about anonymous functions what is an anonymous function anonymous function is function without a name so this uh, in the, in a function we have lots of lines over here anonymous function makes it short let's take a small example of an addition let's say uh, in functions we use the keyword def to declare a function but here we are not will not be using def for an anonymous function we will be using lambda so lambda let's take one argument one another argument then let's say we want to place this both things this argument two okay so let's print print this result Okay, so you will be expecting the value add 5 plus 5 and 5 so the value should be 10 so you can see over here it's the answer is 10 what's the difference between an anonymous function and a normal function you can see that if we are using a function we would have just get 10 but here we are getting result and 10 this is a dictionary so uh, and what else we can see the difference between a normal function and this function is that there is no name of this name for this function we can use it anywhere and uh, the keyword here we are using is lambda rather than def so okay let's talk about uh, next let's talk about scope of variables let's talk about global variable and local variable okay so first let's talk about local variable let's say a function in the parentheses then let's say a is equals to 10 over here now we are going to print this value and say we are inside a function so let's say comma and printing out the value a after uh, after definition we have to always call this function to execute so let's call this function and now you can see the value we are inside a function 10 we have declared this a variable inside a function now let's try something let's take this print function and let's say we are outside a function outside a function and let's print a over here now you will see a error over here it's saying that there is nothing defined as a why why because this is a local variable we cannot access this a value uh, behind uh, after this uh, in not outside the function so what can we do we can make a global variable of this let's say global glo uh, global global a sorry global a and say let's say it's 10 now if we are printing this value let's print it inside and outside now you can see we can access this global variable anywhere inside a function and outside a function 
So if we want to use a local variable just inside a function, we use uh, local variables and we want to use a, a variable which we want to use in any functions or uh, outside the function, we use global variable over here. So thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. For any queries, you can contact us uh, and the links are provided below the video. Thank you.